Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, it's just after 7 a.m. We've got a little bit of time until we open. But here you get a little bit of behind the scenes, you know? Porta potty truck heading out, street sweeper coming in. All the things that has to get done before everybody opens up for business this morning. As you can see, it's pretty cloudy out. It rained almost all night long. But anyway, we were out here till about midnight or so, raining on and off, just kind of keep an eye on things. We were worried about bigger storms coming through, windy storms, but luckily there were no wind events. It was just rain and we can deal with that all day long. Anyway, I'm just rambling on. Let's get this day started. All right, guys, we got everything opened up. Three bikes in, got an F6B up here. If you guys are familiar with those, it's like the street glide-ish version of the Goldwing. No tour pack, but you still get the bags. They're actually really, really cool motorcycles. This one happens to be the matte black and matte gray, which I think is really pretty. I also got a soft tail and a road glide CVO. All right, guys, we need to get some work out here for the girls because they're all hanging out over there. and. Wet pants and hoodies. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly this morning, but of course it's humid because of the overcast and the rain. But look, the parking lot is starting to dry up. I think eventually that sun's going to burn those clouds off, and then it just might be a beautiful day. All right, guys, as some of you may have seen in the videos, but we are parked right next to Tony here. At, um, he's got a business called Iron Braid. Of course, he does all the braiding stuff. I've mentioned it before, but he also has this product called Cruise Mate. And what it does is it helps lock your throttle to maintain a throttle position. Now, guys, my bike is an 04 Road King. It's fuel injected, but it did not come with cruise control. So when we were doing that ride back from Red Lodge the other day, you know, on the interstate for 400 miles, it was nice to be able to rest my hand once in a while. But I noticed there that uh, my throttle lock, and I say throttle lock, that's not what it's actually for. Didn't want to hold right. I had a lot of trouble getting it to stay where I wanted it and then releasing when I wanted it to. All right, guys, so basically that little thumb screw that's on the bottom of my throttle, everybody calls it a throttle lock, but that's not actually what it's designed for. So back in the 80s, Harley started putting this on the bike and they call it an idle adjustment screw. All right, so the whole purpose for Harley then, all the bikes are carbureted still. So when guys were starting their bikes when it was cold, they were using the choke, leaving the choke on for longer periods of time so that the bikes would warm up. And there were some fouling issues with the spark plugs. And other people would just sit there and rev their throttle over and over again to keep their bike running when it was cold. And on the carburetor bikes, what that did is it squirted a bunch of fuel into the cylinders from the accelerator pump. And then you end up overfueling, washing the cylinders down, contaminating the, uh, the oil more rapidly, and still fouling spark plugs. So the whole purpose of this little screw was that you could just crack the throttle open a little bit more, give it a touch more air, lock it down so that your bike would high idle for a few moments until it got to operating temperature. Then you could turn that screw back off to release the tension and it would return to idle and run without fouling your spark plugs. So Harley Davidson will be very clear in telling you that that throttle screw, that throttle lock is not a throttle lock. It is not intended for a cruise control device. However, my bike's 2004 with EFI, like I said, and uh, it's still on there. So with EFI, you don't need it. So Harley knows you're using it for that, but they can't tell you that that's what it's for, for liability purposes. Anyway, I had trouble with mine going to Red Lodge and back. So Tony is putting on a new system that works there that will help 
assist maintaining that throttle position. Now it's not a throttle lock. It is not gonna lock your absolute throttle into a position where you can't control it. You still have full override, but it adds enough friction to maintain. But if you need to shut the throttle down, you can still rock it back and shut the throttle down. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'll let Tony tell you a little bit more about it. when the cruise mate is against the back cable or if you got electronic throttle we put a pin there the grip should be free which it is we operate it like this with your thumb you can see it's holding the grip open you hit a hill you roll the throttle a little bit when you get over the hill you roll back off and if somebody pulls out in front of you the last thing you worry about is this turn the grip no fuel no go and it's infinitely adjustable by pulling this down off of the handle and rotating it. And as you see, the grip is still being held. So I'm going this way. Now the grip's free and she's catching them once again. Thank you, Tony. I greatly appreciate it. You're welcome, Adam. Enjoy. You didn't wipe them off yet? Oh, All right, guys. And this is... Uh... Yeah, Tony's new bike. This is his first service. We're taking care of it for him. So being real careful to inspect all the drain plugs and everything for normal wear. And this is Tony's other bike. You guys have seen it in the videos before. Yeah, we're servicing it too. All right, guys, come on out to the sweat paint and hoodie bike wash. No bikinis today. All right, guys, this is the this is the first time during this show that we've seen all four lifts absolutely empty. Kind of weird. You know, the, the break this morning has been a little bit welcoming, but uh, I'm ready for it to be over and for business to start. And it's a good thing because we do have one that just pulled up in line, so hopefully they won't stay empty long. Guys, it's only been about five minutes since I made that last comment about all of our lifts being empty. And look at it now. Every single lift is full. We've got two bikes in line. Oop, wait, there they are, two bikes in line. And check out who's here. Prime Cut Pro, awesome documentary. Stop by to say hi. If you guys haven't checked out their channel, do so, because they've got really, really good bike week coverage. Plus, they do a lot of other stuff, too, like mud rallies and spring breaks and car shows. A lot of really cool stuff. And um. He's a little prone to the girls, kind of like I am, so you guys just might like it.
installing some floorboards. Took a little longer than he hoped for, but. Definitely a meaty front tire on this fat boy. guys I don't even know what time it is but we finally got caught up a little bit we still got the list full I got one in line that just came in and uh, the cycle fanatic screw just showed up Guys, it is 4.30 in the afternoon, and tell you what, man, the sun came out. That cold, cloudy day that we started with is long gone. It's warm. Not hot, hot, but it's good and warm. Business has been really good. As you see, we've got no line now, but we still got three bikes on the lift. Now, one of them is John from Cycle Fanatics and his friend Glenn, and then just uh, another customer here whose name I didn't get. I hate to say it. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to knock those out really quick. But uh, I haven't walked the parking lot in hours, so we're gonna go take a stroll, see what we can find.
saw John and Glenn stop by. Cycle Fanatics is in the house, and we did a service on Silverback for them, and we service Glenn's bike too. So we got them all good to go for their next few trips and everything they're doing. Now, so I don't know if all my viewers know, but you're putting your bike up for sale. I think it's absolutely beautiful, it man. Is. We're gonna some be, lucky winner. Yeah, I know. We're gonna we're gonna be starting a new build. Uh, can't tell you what what it is yet, but we're gonna be starting a new build, and it's going to be absolutely the highest, highest of performance items on the bike. Of course, Amsoil oil products in the bike, but stay tuned for that, guys. Definitely get yourself some love jugs. Yeah, my viewers know. My viewers yeah, I'm definitely sure know they do, but I, I'll, be, I'll, I'll attest to that. My, no issues with my build, the 130. I got 156 horsepower, 160 foot pounds of torque. I blew the last motor, the 120, because I had zero fans on it. And now, I mean, we were just in 102 degree temperatures. Love jugs are running constantly. Thing is running absolutely beautiful, no issues. Yep. Like I said, he, they rode their bikes out from Jersey. No trailer queens here. That's right. It's a beautiful bike, and he rides the hell out of it. That's right. Thanks so much, Adam. Appreciate you, man. They are awesome. They're from Canada. She's They're got lawyers. a YouTube channel. She's got a YouTube channel. Hey guys, you remember yesterday we met Ride with Red? I actually want to subscribe to her YouTube channel. She subscribed to mine, so guys, make sure you do it as well. She's from Canada, eh?
right, guys. That is our last customer of the day, it looks like. Who's a subscriber, by the way? So uh, as you see, we're starting to drop curtains. Um, my son is killer right now. We're gonna get out of here, go get some dinner. I do have a little bit of bad news. Every day this week, we've been up in sales. I'm gonna change angles here. Yeah, every day up in sales, which has been great. Today is the first day that we did not make our sales goal. So we didn't meet the sales from last year, which technically wasn't our goal. We always like to try to be at least 10% up, but we missed it. But we only missed it by like this much, like literally $42. If I could have sold one more case of oil, we would have got it. Fortunately, we had one appointment that never showed up today. At 11, there was supposed to be a slingshot come in for an oil change. Never heard from them. So, you know, it's only $42. Not a big deal. We've been up every single day this week by way more than $42. Um, it just sucks to see that down. You know, you kind of get excited. You want that up, up, up. But it's still a good day. It was a fantastic day. Every day this week has been fantastic. So, we can't complain. So, just as a quick recap, guys. Go check out Ride With Red. Go check out Cycle Fanatics. You know what? Uh, the Andre one was running around here today too. Uh, I actually got him on camera, I think, while he was talking with John. I meant to go introduce myself to him. I I've never actually met him before and I still haven't, but he was here as well. Uh, there was a number of YouTubers that have been running around here, so it's been kind of cool. All right, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe if you like our content. At 10,000 subscribers, we are going to give away that set of love jugs, and we're so close. We actually turned over 8,000 yesterday. I checked it once earlier today. We're over 8,100, so we are getting there. We are getting there. Someone's going to get that love jug set. I don't know who, but it could be you. I go rhyming. I had no intention of rhyming, but I guess I'm a poet and didn't know it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and until the next time we see you, keep those engines running.